Okay, in this video, we're going to cover reading on the Amazon Kindle Fire. Now, up until the launch of the Amazon Kindle Fire, Kindles have been known to be e-readers, e-ink, e-reading devices. Now, there are a lot of studies that show that actually reading on an e-ink device is probably better than reading on an LCD tablet such as the Amazon Kindle Fire or the Apple iPad 2 or any other Android tablet out there. Reason being is because of eye strain and especially if you're going to read at night, looking at an illuminated backlit tablet such as an LCD tablet is going to keep you up as opposed to reading an e-ink device which is not backlit and you'll be more apt to actually fall asleep. But if you don't care about the eye strain and you don't care about falling asleep while you're reading and you want an upgraded tablet experience at a reasonable price, the Kindle Fire might be the tablet for you. Now, if you're interested in this device, I have a lot of videos up, and you can check the link at the end of this video to see all the other facets of this device. But like I said, we're just going to cover reading on this device right now. Now, you have several options. The interface shows you here. The first thing is newsstand, which is newspapers and magazines, so you can read those on this device. You can read books on this device, and you can look at comic books as well. So we're going to cover books. We're going to go into books here. And the only book I have on this device is the Oxford American Dictionary. But it'll do for this demonstration. Now, as you see, when you pull up a book, it pulls up the cover as your first page here. And you can just swipe to the side. So if you want, just keep swiping. And that's how you turn the page. There is no up or down. This book is formatted for this screen and you can actually increase or decrease the text size but it'll always be formatted for the screen so there's no up and down it's all side to side if you want to go back a page you just swipe back very intuitive now being that this is a dictionary you can't actually look up words in it you just kinda of have to leaf through it and find the word that you're looking for so in practice a dictionary on a Kindle Fire tablet is not really an ideal experience because if you want to look up a word you can either do it on the internet or a Kindle actually has a very interesting feature on it. You can actually highlight a word and it will define it for you. So obviously I know what the word pronounced means, it says it right here, but I'm going to highlight it by long pressing it and you see on there there's sort of a, uh, a magnified view of it there I don't know if you can actually see it on the uh, camera there, but uh, let me do that for you right here. Let's back out of that and let's do that again. I'm going to long press on pronounced. And as you can see, it gives me a magnified view of the word there. So when I let go, it will actually define the word for me, which is very useful. So it gives you a definition here. If you want the full definition, click on this. So there you go, it brings up the full definition of the word in the New Oxford American Dictionary. So that's how you would look up words on this device. But if you don't have the word on the device itself, if you just thought of a word, you thought of solstice, there'd be no way to input it on this device to look it up. You'd have to find it somewhere and highlight it. So let me highlight another word here, um, nucleus here. I'm going to do the same thing, long press on it and let go. It gives me the definition. Let's check what the search function does here. I'm going to hit search. And it searches within that book. It searches within this dictionary. And it gives me all the entries where Nucleus is in this book. Which would come in handy if you're actually reading a regular book because you could jump to certain areas of that book. Alright, let's try um, animate here. Let's highlight that and look up the term on Wikipedia. So it brings up Wikipedia here and there you go. So let's go back to the book here and let's try the last function which is the Google search. Let's try movement here and hit the Google search. So there we go. So it's actually a really nice feature on this device where you can actually look up terms and that really helps 
when you're reading a book, maybe it's a term you're not familiar with, you need a definition of it, or you're interested in it and you can actually do a Google search on it or do a Wikipedia search. So it's a really nice feature to have in an e-reader. Now, as I said, the interface is you swipe to turn the page, but there are other options on this device. So if you want to bring up a menu, you just tap on the screen and it brings up this menu here and you have a location here. Now these aren't page numbers because like I said the actual text is formatted for this screen so it doesn't really coincide with any actual book out there. So you basically just have location areas within this book and if you want to you have this slide bar here where you can move throughout the book wherever you want and if you notice there the location number changes as I swipe this bar. So it's going to allow you to jump anywhere within that book. Also on the menu down here, you have a couple of function buttons. You have your characteristic home button that will always bring you back to your home screen. You have a back button that will bring you back within the program or to the previous program that you were using. Now here you have an A, A button here. It looks like a font button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and it brings up some options here. You have a font style which is what we're in right now and you can actually change the size of the font right now it's in the third one up I could put it on the lowest one and as you see it makes the font smaller or you could put it on the highest one and it makes it very large and then you have all these points in between also you can change the line spacing on this to suit your reading habits right now it's in the middle if you want you could make it spaced more if you want you can make it spaced less We'll put it back on the middle. Also, you can control your margins. You can make them bigger. Right now, it's on the smallest, but you can make the margins bigger. And as you see, the text goes more into the center of the display. And then you have your color mode down here. Right now, the text is black on white. If you want, if you're reading at night and you don't want such a glare from the device, you can read white on black. And if you want something a little more soft, you can read brown on beige. Now also you can control the typeface here. So if you don't like this typeface, you can change it to whatever font you have installed here. And it looks like there's, let's see, four, five, six, seven, there's eight different fonts to choose from. Now next to that font button here, you have your menu button. That is your characteristic Android menu button, and it allows you to dive deeper into some of the functions here, uh, such as the cover, table of contents, beginning, location, sync to furthest page, and whatnot. And then down here, the last button is a characteristic Android button, which is a search button, and if you click on that, it allows you to search anywhere within the book, and you just type in whatever you want up here with the on-screen keyboard down here. Now also one thing to note when you're reading a book on this device, you can't pinch to zoom. The pinch to zoom does not work on it. You would have to increase or decrease the font size if you want. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is comic books on the Amazon Kindle Fire. Now I'm not really into comics, but I know some of you out there are, so I'm going to show you what it's like on this device. Now this comics app here is something you have to download in the Amazon App Store for Android. It's not part of the table of contents up here. But I already have it downloaded and I'm going to enter it here. And this is actually a comic store and they offer a bunch of different comics. I see DC Comics here, Fantastic Four, Star Trek, Starting Points, Graphic Novels and Collections, Haunt. As I said, I'm not into comics so I don't know what's big out there but this seems to be a nice app. Uh, they offer a whole bunch of comics that you can buy and download on this device. Um, I do watch The Walking Dead though, and I know that originated as a comic or a graphic novel. So I already previously downloaded the first episode or the first issue of The Walking Dead here, and I actually got it for free. So let me click on that and show you what the comic experience is like on this device. Now, I'm into my comics on this app here, and as you can see, I only have one comic here, and it's issue number one. And it shows you the, let me just bring it a little closer, it shows you the cover of the comic there. 
Now on the bottom here has your characteristic Android buttons, your home, your back, your menu, and your search. But I'm going to click on this comic here and we're going to see what happens. Now it shows you, just like on the book, it shows you the cover here and it's in full color. Now I understand that this comic is actually in black and white, I think. So let me just swipe, just like you would with the book. You just swipe to turn the page and if you want, you can pinch to zoom, just like you would with a web page. And I believe if you want to see one of these panels a little bit closer, you just double click on it. And there you go. And you can go panel by panel if you want. And you can still pinch to zoom on them. So it makes a nice little comic reader here. And uh, like I said, this is in black and white, so I can't necessarily show you the full color on this. But let's bring up the controls here. I'm going to hit on the menu button down here. And it allows you to close, browse the pages, and go to settings. Let's just see what kind of settings we have here. So you can actually animate the panel to panel transitions in the guided view. And the letterboxing allows you to use the bars to hide content outside of the current panel. And show page on enter, show full page after transitioning to a new page and show page on exit, show full page before transitioning to a new page. So there's some interesting preferences here to give you transitions, it appears, uh, when you're actually reading your comic. So that is reading on the Amazon Kindle Fire tablet, whether it's books or comic books. Again, like I said, you can get newspapers and magazines on the device as well. All in all, a great little tablet and definitely worth the $199 price tag. So that pretty much does it for this video. I have a lot of videos on the Amazon Kindle Fire and you can check them out by clicking the link at the end of this video. So I'll see you guys next time.